Up until now, the Geraldine R. Dodge Poetry Festival was always held in a rural, out-of-the-way place. But this year, the largest poetry event in the country took place in New Jersey's largest city, Newark. The festival featured some of the world's best living poets. We caught up with a handful of them to talk about the festival and about poetry. Ribbons and scarlet and smoke. I think they're amazing. I think they're just like this amazing gathering of tribes. I love that so many people come and just to appreciate something as ephemeral as poetry. It's wonderful. I'm glad something like this is here downtown Newark, um, very accessible. Uh, and I'm just trying to take in the whole energy, the whole environment. It's like being at poetry camp. You know, you get away from home and, and you just play with poetry. Well, this is actually a little bit of a tradition for us. Mm -hmm. This is our second time coming to the Dodge. I think it's a good thing for Newark and for poetry. What's <laughs> up? What's up, bro? I grew up here. My family came here in the 20s. I still meet people in this town that knew my parents, knew my grandparents. The dead guy you saw me talking to is your boss. I tried to put a spell on him, but his spirit is illiterate. If I were crowned emperor this morning, every child who is playing Marco Polo in the swimming pool of this motel, <laughs> shouting the name Marco Polo back and forth, Marco Polo, Marco Polo, would be required to read a biography of Marco Polo, <laughs> a long one with fine print, as well as a history of China, and of Venice, the birthplace of the venerated explorer, Marco Polo, Marco Polo, after which each child would be quizzed by me, then executed by drowning, <laughs> regardless how much they managed to retain about the glorious life and times of Marco Polo, Marco Polo. The Dodge Festival is the biggest high, I think, for poets and readers alike. When you see these audiences listening to poetry, and it's about the poem, it's not about the poet, the individual poet and all this, it's really about the poem that we're all writing together. It's beautiful. Back when the earth was new and heaven just a whisper, back when the names of things hadn't had time to stick, Back when the smallest breezes melted summer into autumn, when all the poplars quivered sweetly in rank and file, the world called and I answered. 